Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to go from San Francisco down to Bakersfield, 275 miles, 6 hour drive. We're hauling 21 tons of drywall on our Transcraft Eagle spread axle flatbed with our custom golden nugget. Peterbilt 389 with a Cummins in 14 800 horsepower with uh, Eaton Fuller 18 speed I think that pretty much covers everything we're using Grimm's graphics mod is springtime graphics mod and we're using Nvidia game filter just to make everything look a little bit better okay let's get started on our trip we got a little drive ahead of us drive safe well, this engine sound you're going to hear is from Z mod Z E E mods you can find it on the steam workshop and it is the custom N14 engine and sound so let me uh Put the windows down, you can build it here. Fucking helicopter quit flying around for a minute. Probably will never happen though. Okay, key on. In neutral. Clutch in. Always put your clutch in. We ain't gotta turn the falling gears and transmission, flywheel and all that bullshit. Well the flywheel start turns that's attached to the end. Forget that, we're not gonna get down technical with it. It's just easier on it. Oof. Let me make sure I got that sound turned up on this thing. Because you're going to want to hear it. You're going to want to. You're going to want to hear it. I can guarantee that. Mm -hmm. That's a good cookie right there. Sounds better outside. You're win 14. All right, let's get out of here. That's enough of burning fuel. And I forgot to change my dangler. Still has the Hope Trucker. I was going to change it to the Idaho. I do got my boy chips over there, though. If you want some chips, go ahead and help us out. Grab you a couple and eat them along the way there's a cup holder down there you can put your favorite beverage in hopefully you brung it because I don't have nothing for you to drink I don't think I don't even got my fucking I don't even have a cooler up in this thing got two duffel bags briefcase and a map and a microwave a 500 a 950 watt microwave with that a good year bag. All right, let's. As Willie Nelson would say, on the road again. Another great adventure in American Truck Simulator. Are you excited? Cause I am. I absolutely love this game. And if you love this game, go ahead and give this video left. a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Turn left. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. And, as I always say, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I do. We ain't ever going to get out of this damn place, are we? Don't hit the pillar, don't hit the pillar. Keep Didn't right, the pillar. and then turn right. Wait until you hear this jake break. Turn right. 
<laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. That doesn't put a smile on your face, nothing will. You're in the wrong damn place. Okay, we're going. Back just grabbing gears. Didn't even wasn't even paying attention to my speed. Thousand fucking dollars nine over. Holy crap. We're broke. We ain't got no money left. Drivers, you better start working. I got like 42 drivers working for me, so it'll generate some money pretty fast. Leaving San Francisco. Blossoming, blossoming, blooming, make it up my own language, bear with me, you'll get it, after a while, you'll understand what I'm saying, try not to let that southern accent very much, but you know, sometimes it kick in, can't really help it, know what I mean, Jack? Too fast, uh, well, I need a cop, that's low. Flipped on the bird. Cut me off, you son of a chicken dick looking. Motherfucker. They need to make a middle finger that just comes up on the screen back down a button you can push so you can flip people off. Well, even one that came out the window would be cool like Grand Theft Auto. Just let them know how you feel. But we are in California so we're going to go and do 55. We'll run about 60. We run by Z in the mile now. See how long it's going to take to get here to Bakersfield. Hopefully, don't run no detour. We've got plenty of time to get here in. I gotta quit talking like that. A lot of way you talk. I lie the way you talk too. Fucking sling blade. Mm -hmm. I killed the man. Mm -hmm. Damn good, too good wax with that lawnmower blade. Mm -hmm. Damn near split his head in two. Mm -hmm. That's a fucked up show, honey. Billy Bob Thornton. Like his bad Santa. Well, we all single fires are cop. Single fire. Single file. Is there a cop up there? I think that's one coming beside us here. No, that's no one of those little Keep right Honda wannabe things. Right. No, that ain't either. It's like one of those four tours. Exit right. Congratulations, Fairy B. Thank you for the 300 or three grand. Turn left. Did a good job, driver. That car didn't even stop for the stop sign. You see that shit? It's blue right through. I'm gonna report him and call in everybody that does anything wrong. Didn't use your blinker, I'm calling it in. 
stupid jackass going down Interstate 40 didn't use a blinker, cut me off. That's stupid. I hate those kind of people. Oh, he flicked a cigarette butt out the, out the window. Let's call it in. Littering. Thousand dollar fine. Six years in jail. Almost did it. Again. Went from six high low to seven high. Caught myself that time though. Like I'm finally starting to learn. shift fast enough. Jerry Reed would say, if we can keep it on the ground and put that hammer down, we will be southbound. Well, he didn't say southbound, he said Texas bound. Well, we're not going to Texas, we're just going to Bakersfield. Blue the south here. Then we may get our kicks on Route 66. Get ready to turn right. You're killing me, Sky. You're killing me. We just got up the cruise and speed, right. too. Donnie's driving again. Gears grinding. I'm telling you, if somebody come up with a way to put a four street, a little bit of four street back on the shifter, make it somewhere it feels like the gears are actually grinding, you'd be rich. People would buy the shit out of them. Look at our old homeboy that did the shifter, he just took a Regular eating fuller shifter, uh, which is like, I don't know, you get them for like 20 bucks, $25, something like that. Put a switch, put a couple switches in it and USB cord. Hundred and something, $129 later, we'll get you a shifter. Making a killing off of that. We better use controls. Better use the cruise control, not the choose control. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Yo, if you could figure out a way to do a little bit of force feedback, like when the gear is grinding, you can actually feel it in the stick. Maybe have a little bit of resistance, not really wanting to go into gear. I ain't smart enough to figure out how to do it. I didn't make the very first shifter I ever had. I made myself out of a cardboard box and a towel rack handle. Go straight on with a tennis ball on top of it for a shifter knob. Made it out of old, one of those cheap, uh, what's that, A brand cheap controllers you can get at Walmart, it starts with an A. I don't know, but one of those old PlayStation controllers. I had a wireless shifter. I took that controller apart and soldered me some wires on where the buttons go. Hooked them up with a little Go piece of metal on. where each gear is. Then I hooked the neutral wire or the ground or whatever you want to call it wire to the metal shifting stick, the shower or the towel rack rod, pipe, whatever you want to call it. So each time I'd put it in gear, it'd be like you're mashing down on a button. And I just set it up to shift, so that was my very first shifter. I think it took like two hours to make the fucking thing. Lots of 
lots of wires. You had, let's see, you had a wire for every gear. I even hooked up a Targo switch on that thing, so where I had like a splitter. I had a wire for every gear. And for every gear, you had another wire that ran to the shifter and stick. So there's just fucking wires everywhere up in there. I just used duct tape tape to stick down to the bottom of the box. Worked pretty good until Go it started on. to fall apart because I made it out of a cardboard box. I was going to make one out of wood, but I didn't ever get around to it. I think it ended up in the trash anyway. That just goes to prove you can, you can do just about anything you want to do. Put your mind to it. I don't know that much about electronics really, but I can figure it out. I mean, I can put a computer together. I can build my own computer, that ain't nothing. I learned to do that a long time ago. Back in the 2002s. Computer I ever got was, was 1995. It might have been 1994. Dad bought it off of some guy he worked with or something like that. And uh, the boot it up, you had to put in like 15 discs floppy drives one after another so we had like a stack of them sitting there one stack for boot up to boot it up one stack for the windows nt or not windows nt but what the fuck was that windows called by 1.5 or something like that never mind i'll find a new route so we had the little like a pac-man type game you could play we had another stack of dicks for that this is before they had internet. Well, they had internet, but we didn't. I mean, we, internet, you had to have been a rich person to have internet. We wasn't that fancy. Didn't even have the colored monitor. It had the monitors that are green. Not old awful puke green, puke uh, tan or whatever the fuck color the keyboards were. couldn't get to run on Windows 10. Keep Basically right, had to and then exit right. Teach myself how to use a computer. Exit right. Through trial and error. I could set up like a basic network system, Get ready wireless or wired. Um, set up a media server. I can do that stuff. Turn I can left. make basic games, you know, using like the Unreal Engine editor and 
Unity and Game Maker. Okay, let's find a new route. Did she not say turn left, right? She said left, did she? No. Uh -uh. Sure, hell did. We ain't going all the way down there and turn around. Shit, we ain't got much of a choice. I don't know if I can turn it around right here. We're gonna give her a try though. We're gonna pull a Swifty. We'll probably get this thing awesome powered up in this bitch. Let me guess, there's a car right there too, huh? Better stop, little dumper. Oh, we got this. That wasn't much of a swifty move. We didn't take out the fence or anything. We were too busy yakking. Blopping my gums. even farther than what we have to. Our owner operator is going to waste some money. We don't want to be wasting money. Uh, excuse me. We got to buy some more trucks, hire some more drivers, get some more terminals. Oh, garages as they call them in the game. I call them terminals. Bakersfield. Shouldn't. Sometimes it does, but it shouldn't. Turn right. Really just hit and miss when it's going to crash. There ain't no rhyme or reason to it. Not that I've been able to figure out. I could do like maze basic mods for American Truck Simulator. Like I did with this truck, took a whole bunch of parts from other trucks, just kind of made like one super, super P 379, 389 accessory pack. So it got like almost all the customization parts in it that there is out there. The Mumbar from Payware Trucks. Thanks to my friends for buying them for me. Appreciate it. If you watch my videos, thank you. You know who you are. And why are we doing 35 miles an hour? As soon as I go to pass and get it forward there. Keep we'll right, have to exit. and then exit right. Oh, got to oversize. I absolutely like that mod. That adds the oversized traffic. It makes it more realistic. Exit right. Most Turn of the mods left. I use, except for the ones I've kind of threw together myself, can be found on the Steam Workshop. Or I 
to get my mods if I can't find them on there because they update automatically. Welcome to Bakersfield. Population 347,000. Rerouting. How the hell you expect me to turn left right there? Oh, right. We're in California. We'll flip a flip a bitch, as they call it. Again. Seem to be missing a lot of turns on this trip. Get ready to turn right. At least we didn't get no major accident or anything. Turn right. About almost 50,000 miles on this truck accident free. 40,000. 40,000 miles on this truck accident free. Finally, we are here. I ain't gonna sound so fucking happy about it. Got your loaded drywall. I ain't back in it in, by the way. Here she be. Two hundred eighty-five miles, seven hours fifty-four minutes, fifty-six point seven gallons of fuel burnt. Sixteen thousand eight hundred eighty-four dollars for eight hours worth of work. That is good. We are level 62, legend. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video, and you can leave a comment down below. Again, thank you guys for watching the videos, I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.